Hi, welcome Dr. Ruth Anderson here with Enlightened World Network. It's our honor to bring you a guided meditation every day of the year. And today our guest meditator is Dr. Marsha Martin. Marsha, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for inviting me. I am so honored and delighted to be here. I love the work that you are doing and I love this whole meditation a day. It's just so wonderful to continue to give people the opportunity to unite in this beautiful place of love where all that we want to share with each other is love and well-being. So I'm honored to be here and so grateful for all that you are doing and continue to do. Oh, thank you, Marcia. I'm going to let you have the floor. So whenever you are ready to start. All righty. So today, Jesus is here with us. And when I am speaking about Jesus, it is the Christ consciousness, the embodiment of unconditional love. And this energy today wants to guide us by sharing the gift of love. So I invite you all to close your eyes, to take a deep breath, and to place your attention on the heart center, the energetic heart center right at the center of your being. This is your place of belonging. This is your place where you connect and unify with the divine. And the Christ consciousness is your bridge. So now allow yourself to go deeper. Allow yourself to relax into the energetic heart center. Allow the energy of Jesus to guide you into the place where there is only love, unconditional love. Love that sees you as you are and accepts you. Love that guides you, encourages you, and uplifts you. Take a deep breath and allow yourself to relax into this place. This is the space of love, joy, and peace. This is the space of your authenticity, the place where you fully understand all that you are the gifts that you have brought to share. And the challenges that you have agreed to participate in. This is the place where you gather strength, strength for your journey, strength to help others, strength to help the planet. Take a deep breath and allow yourself to go even deeper. And in this sanctuary, relax. Allow yourself to let go of all of the worries, 
all of the cares, even the responsibilities. Allow Jesus to relieve you of everything that feels heavy or burdensome. And now accept in its place the light of the Holy Spirit, the love brought forth by the Holy Spirit, shown to us in each and every day through the Christ consciousness, the bridge, the way shower, the support system that allows us to simply relax and allow the divine into our hearts to renew and restore our being. Jesus encourages you to relax even more deeply. Breathe deeply and completely. Simply let go. of everything that feels heavy or burdensome or painful. Allow the love of the Holy Spirit to wash you clean, free you from all that is heavy. And now accept joyfully the gift of unconditional love, the gift that uplifts, the gift that restores and renews and revitalizes. This is the gift of truth and this gift reminds you of who you are. You are a child of the divine. You are worthy. You are a powerful creator. You are more than enough. Take a deep breath and relax into this truth. Allow your entire being to bathe in the radiance of the truth of the divine. Know that you are loved. Know that you are worthy. Know that you are more than enough. No matter what you may have said or done, despite the thoughts, No matter the hurt, the divine see you as who you truly are. Perfect, beautiful, worthy. Release the cares. Let go of the pain. 
step out of the darkness into the light of their love. Step into the peace of their being. Fill with joy. And allow your life to be easy. There is ease in the flow, the flow of the divine. Align your heart with the heart of the divine by walking in love, thinking loving thoughts, speaking loving words. Allow now the gift of love to fill your entire being. Beginning at your feet, rising to your knees, Filling all of you all the way up and through your abdomen. Filling the chest with unconditional love. And now the throat and the head. Your entire being. is now overflowing with unconditional love. You are a fountain, an ever replenishing fountain. While you are in alignment, you are constantly being renewed and restored. It is safe now for you to share this gift of love with all. Give from that overflow of love. It has filled you and it's washing down the outside of you. Allow that love to flow freely into the world into your home, touching your family, your extended loved ones, your neighbors, your town, your city, your state, your country, all countries, and now the world. Your love. The love that you received from Jesus. First did the work of healing you and healing your hurt and your pain. And then as you accepted more, more became available until you filled to overflowing. And now you are a blessing to yourself and all others. Allow Jesus to be with you always 
to be the bridge between you and the divine so that you may continue flowing unconditional love into yourself where it heals you out into the world where it heals the world. A never ending stream of blessing. A never ending stream of love is the gift of love that Jesus, the Christ consciousness, has given to each heart this day. Take a deep breath. Receive even more love. Knowing that you are loved. You are worthy. You are more than enough. Go forth now, beloved ones, and share your love with all. Be a blessing, receive a blessing, share the love, you have been gifted this day. And so it is. Oh, I love the energy of the Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm speechless. The absolutely stunning. That was beautiful. Thank you. That is the work of, the, of that energy of the Christ that just flows so beautifully when you give it permission and just wants to remind each and every one of us that no one can come to the table and be turned away. The only thing they are ever waiting for is your desire to receive. It is never that you have been judged and found to be unworthy. That is not a truth that exists in the heart of, of the divine. Yes. <laughs> I, I wrote a couple notes. I loved when you said that the Christ consciousness is our bridge to the divine. Yes. And since I have begun in my own life, really allowing that energy to flow, it is so much more beautiful and meaningful to have that additional help and I think it is because Jesus did experience how difficult it is to be in a physical body with all of the distractions and all of the seemingly real products and still anchor yourself to, an in, suppose, unless you are clairvoyant, a basically invisible energy that is saying to you, trust me to provide you with all of the desires of your heart. And so when I allow Jesus to be my guide and to be my bridge or doorway, it just makes it so much more impactful 
and so much easier to truly trust that which would otherwise be invisible. And it, it's, it's a big ask, you know, we're saying to ourselves and to each other, just trust what you cannot see. And all of the stuff that you can see, all of the destruction and the uh, angst and the hurt, just ignore that and just go here in your heart and, and feel good. <laughs> It is the right thing to do. It is the only way that we will change the world. But it can be it's so exceedingly difficult without that bridge, without Jesus being there to tell you, take you by the hand and say, I understand how difficult this is because I too was in a physical body. I experienced what it was like to get thrown off by all of the worldly events and it needing to go back into my heart center and reconnect and re-attach um, myself to my source of, of all. So I have just found that that makes my whole practice, not just my meditation practice, but just my life. It makes my life so much easier. And that's coming from somebody who spent a lot of time struggling <laughs> because I didn't know that life didn't need to be that way. So I happily participated in the struggle because it was my understanding that that would somehow please God. So I wanted to struggle. It created reasons why I should struggle because at the end of the day, I wanted to be found uh, worthy. So <laughs> it's a big, beautiful change to understand who the divine really are as opposed to who I believe them to be. The dogma. Yes. Yes, the training, the misinterpretation, the misunderstanding, the lack of maturity, all of that probably factors in. And I think the people that were teaching me may not have had a personal relationship. And that's what's necessary. If you truly have that personal relationship, it's so much easier to share truth than if you are trying to interpret it from a book or a teaching or from something else, you're going to intellectualize it. And the God is not an intellectual, inter, cannot be interpreted through the mind. It's through the heart. It wasn't until I got out of my head and into my heart that I really understood what they were offering. Until then, it was just rules and regulations. Do this, don't do that. It wasn't a relationship. It was just a failure. <laughs> a it was pretty a, big one. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't a failure, it was a learning. It was, <laughs> but you know, I'm perfectly okay with wiping out completely in what would be considered failure because it, I recognize now it just gives me an opportunity to figure out what isn't working. And so I'm kind of like just okay with everything. <laughs> and everything is funny now. It used to, all these things that I, that I took so seriously, now I'm kind of like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> And I don't allow myself to get quite so caught up as I used to. It, it just doesn't hold the same weight because I know that's not really what it's supposed to mean. It's just me making the, getting the wrong impression. So you talk about love of the divine, and I know that you teach about the love of the divine, both on Pinterest and on YouTube. Do you want to share what you're putting out into the world at this point? Oh my gosh, it's just 
this glorious <laughs> relationship. I, I can't think of a, a better word. It's this glorious relationship that happens when you allow yourself to truly receive, when you stop trying to dictate how it should be because that's what somebody told you and you just relax into the flow of what is there is so much richness that can come you begin to see things as god sees them as opposed to the way you thought they had to be viewed and especially in the natural kingdom there, it, everything just seems so much more beautiful. The intricacy, the amount of love that had to go into the planning for each leaf and each flower and each insect even. It, it's just sort of mind-blowing in a way <laughs> because it's so far beyond anything that I could have created. But it demonstrates such love and such eye for detail. Nothing has been left out. Nothing is left to chance. There is not one being on this planet where God got tired and said, ah, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. no, I, I hope they make it. Every single element has been so perfectly planned and so perfectly created that it supports itself and something else. Just And it, we all need each other so badly and yet fit into such a beautiful, harmonious whole. And so I really think my whole mission at this time is to help people really understand who the divine really are and what they want to share with you. And I remember in the early stages of my journey, being so afraid to let go of what I wanted and accept what the divine wanted for me, because I did not believe that they would want to bless me. Hmm. So hmm. it was, you know, I really want to buy a home. Well, what if they want me to live in a shack and they think that it's better for me to spend all of my money giving to the poor instead of allowing myself to have a, a place to live that would feel good to my heart. So I held on to, I got to buy myself a, a house and uh, that I want and I can't trust them to deliver to me something that I would like. They wanted me to go out and be a slave. That is so far from the reality. And I find it humorous now because it is nothing, nothing like what they share. To them, everything is unlimited. So to them, it would be absolutely idiotic to say, you can't have what you want because somebody else wants something because they live in that perfect state of unlimited abundance. So you want a house? Great. You want a house? Great. You, you can, the whole world can have a house as long as you are willing to receive it. It's the same thing with health and money, cars, whatever you want. What I have found is the things that used to have meaning for me may have decreased in value. So yes, I need a car and I need the car to get me from point A to point B, but I'm so delighted with this little used car that I'm driving right now. <laughs> I just get so excited. It was a gift from them. It was one of those miracles that I needed so much that they delivered and even though I could buy a better car now because I'm in much more in a much more stable position, I love the miracle of this car so much that I don't want to give it up. And it just doesn't really matter to me that it's not the fanciest thing. 
Whereas before, when it, everything felt unattainable, mm -hmm. I thought I needed to have the best of the best of the best in order to make me feel good. And now I realize I just have to feel good with whatever it is. And it can be the most expensive or the least expensive. It no longer, that no longer really factors in. It just has to feel good. Interesting. Marcia, I know that you work with people individually. If somebody wants to work with you, how do they find you? Oh, I'm so excited to share because now I have a couple of different ways broadening me as God broadens me. I'm, I broaden myself in the world. So we have individual coaching. That's the one-on-one -on -one really deep beautifully intimate work, but I also have group coaching. And so you're welcome to join now in the community. We will begin, the doors will close on the 11th of January and we'll begin the next coaching group. But within the community, there is a wealth of material that the angels have shared with me. So you could spend years <laughs> researching all of that and receiving and gaining benefit. And that's an option. You can do it on the self-study at your own pace. And that is 11, 11 a month. So it, it's a, a portable to everyone. Obviously, the more the time that you are asking of me, the more the investment becomes. But it's all available to anyone who desires, and I welcome you all. And that's on my website, and it's mmhearthealer.com. MM for Marsha Martin. It's also, you could also go Marsha Martin, the hearthealer.com, but mmhearthealer.com. And there is a truly a great deal of information on Pinterest and on YouTube. So that's true. And in addition to those within this community are the tools and the techniques that the angels have taught me, not just information about who they are, but tools that you can use so that your journey becomes meaningful to you. Because without them, Without these tools, without their constant encouragement and guidance and support, there was no getting from A to even B, let alone Z. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I encourage everyone to just get as much information and as many tools into your toolbox as possible because then you have this beautiful smorgasbord to choose from but if you don't have anything you're kind of left picking up on what somebody else has decided is true and it can be very detrimental so I do definitely it doesn't have to be through me just take advantage of every tool that you can receive that will help you on your spiritual journey I have certainly participated in so many different programs and read so many different books. And I'm so grateful for all these different viewpoints that help shape what now feels just right to me. Mm -hmm. And that's the goal is to let you create a relationship with the divine that is just right for you. It's not gonna look like mine, it's gonna look like yours. Exactly. Marcia, thank you so very much for your meditation today and for the conversation afterwards. And our friends here on Enlightened World Network, thank you for being here today. God bless. We're here to support each other on our individual journeys. We're here for you and thank you for being here for us. So God bless. Take good care. Thank you, Marcia. Thank you, Ruth. And thank you for all that you do. Thank you.